hi hello everyone welcome again to my channel the creative as i it so in today's video i'm going to share uh, another video on azure devops series so if you guys remember uh, we started from lesson 18 azure devops for the scaled teams or safe teams or we can say simply like multiple teams who are using azure devops for the same product line or for the same project so in today's video we are going to cover how we can you know manage the dependencies when we are working with multiple teams so there could be you know there is one team on which you know our team work is dependent and this is quite obvious especially if you're working on a art and there are a lot of dependencies a lot of inter-team dependencies sometimes you know we can use some excel or some other sheet for you know listing all those dependencies but i mean if you are using a tool like azure devops it's quite extensive so we can utilize and uh, i'm going to show like how we can create dependencies between two very basic work items and also kind of a very brief on you know what exactly is a delivery plan so there is a feature in azure devops which we call delivery plan Plan, how we can use it what's the simplest form of using the delivery plan so this will be the kind of scope for today's video and like I said you know the members or the viewers or my subscribers who are new to this uh, series especially for the scaled ones they can start from lesson number 18 I will share the link of lesson 18 and lesson 19 as well so let us begin so I'm sharing the same project which I have created in the Azure DevOps labs this is it's called scaled teams so now if we have to kind of create a delivery plan or navigate to the delivery plan what we have to do is we have to bring the mouse to the boards and here we can see this is our delivery plan so let's click so this is our delivery plan so right now there are no delivery plans defined in this project so what we will do is we will create very basic plan so we will call it 2023 let's say we are in the quarter four plan and we will keep the description empty now what we can do is this is our project this is one of the team we want like uh, Spartans and we have mentioned okay we want to cover the stories let's add another team uh, and this is our royals and also we have selected the stories so this is kind of a very basic information that we are giving when we are creating a delivery plan we have given a name we have kept the description optional if you want like we can uh, say okay test plan and then we have uh, this is our project in Azure and these are the two teams and we have selected story as a backlog let's simply create it so now it has created a delivery plan 2023 q4 plan and if you remember i mean if there are no sprints uh, normally it will not list sprints if those sprints are not created but since we already created a pi if you remember the lesson 18 and we created four uh, four sprints basically sprint one sprint two sprint three and one ip sprints and we can zoom this plan if i simply uh, make it bigger or enlarge it i can click on this one and also i can simply you know Kind of like reduce it so that i can see all the four sprints so remember if we rem created like uh, these sprints sprint one sprint two sprint three so these things are coming so basically a very a simple usage of delivery plan is when we are working in art so we have features uh, to be delivered or to be released per pi okay or maybe like you know some of the features which might take you know a couple of pis or a couple of quarters so if we have mentioned some target dates so we can see you know how those features look in the detailed plan so this will give us kind of a complete picture or a bigger picture from a uh, release perspective so it will we can we can see that you know how the features are spent across multiple sprints or multiple pis now in today's video we want to kind of like cover the basics of the delivery plan like how we can create it which i have just shown and also how we can see the dependencies so now in order to kind of uh, understand how we can create dependencies what we will do is we will go back to the sprints okay so if you remember like uh, this is for the team spartans and i will make it a favorite so that you know i can see that okay this is one of the team i am working with and if i click on the spartans backlog so it consists of these stories the six stories which are in plate for spartans and there is nothing which has been scheduled in the sprint so let's say i'm bringing this very first user login story into the sprint one okay so all i have done is i have placed this user login story in the spartans sprint one now let's go back to the another team which we call royals and if you remember like royals is our infra team which provides the basic infrastructure to all the teams who are working on the product line so what we are doing again is we are saying okay devops infra will be done by royals in the sprint one okay now what 
we are doing now is we are creating a kind of a dependency. So we are saying DevOps infra needs to be kind of done first before let's say Spartans can start on the uh, use login login user story. So what we will do is we will create open this one and uh, we will come here and we can say add a link and there is already an existing item so we are saying this devops infra is a uh, is basically this is a so we are defining a successor and the successor of this uh, devops infra is our user login okay so if i click on this one so basically what we have done is we are saying that uh, this devops infra is the predecessor and this user login is the successor right and if i simply save and close and uh, so this is how it has been defined and if i go back to the spartans and look at this user login story and see the links so here you can see so for devops infra it was a successor but i mean all we are saying is that user login story needs to be done only once devops infra has been completed right so this is how we have defined kind of a successor and the predecessor okay predecessor needs to be done first and then it will be followed by the successor so these are the dependencies which we have defined for the two user stories which are owned by two different teams and which is kind of a very practical scenario which can happen in any sl release train or when we are working with the multiple teams now if we go back to the delivery plans and if i open this one so now you guys can see that uh, uh, this is how it is listing it is showing like user login and the devops uh, are scheduled for the sprint one and this user login is owned by the spartans devops is owned by the royals and if i say show all dependencies so basically right now it is showing me like this user login is uh, dependent on the devops right so this is how we can kind of like utilize if we are working on a large screen with multiple teams with a lot of dependencies so this delivery plan will list us all the defined dependencies okay so normally what happens is in a project where we are managing the dependency in a normal uh, sheet or something we kind of we need to kind of like update those dependencies but i mean the azure devops it provides you you know as and when you have diagnosed or identified the dependencies you can simply go and create the prediction and successor for those dependencies and then obviously it will list in as part of your delivery plan now what we will do is uh, we will see that you know uh, how it will list the issue in case if there is any issue in the dependencies so right now because this user login and devops they both are scheduled for the sprint one it is showing okay this is okay and if i click on this particular icon so this is how it will show so basically it will kind of like list the details of that dependency so it is showing me that user login is depends on devops infra right and similarly if i click on this one it is showing me like devops infra has some item which is depending on it so basically user login story can only be done once devops infra is completed now let's do one test so what we will do is if i go back to the sprints and if i open the royals so instead of uh, this user story devops infra which is currently scheduled for sprint one and i can do that i mean i can simply select iteration path here so you guys can see that you know this is my iteration sprint one so now instead of iteration one i am just making it as part of the iteration two so basically now what this team has done they are saying okay they are not doing this particular devops infra story in sprint one but rather they are doing it in sprint two so if a team has decided a movement of certain work items but they are unaware that other teams are dependent on it so how we can understand it unless until we have a very close communication close working with the team but i mean if all the teams are using azure devops their dependencies are defined in azure we have defined our delivery plan and those de delivery plan is regularly reviewed so what we can do is if i go back to the delivery plan so if i open this one so you can see like you know there is a dependency on login there is a dependency on devops infra and if i click on this one show all dependencies so right now 
instead of earlier where it was kind of a normal dependencies because user login and DevOps infra they both were part of the sprint one so that can be managed right i mean uh, user login can be started in the same sprint once DevOps infra is completed but now what we are telling is like you know, user login can only be done after DevOps infra and now DevOps infra we are going to do in sprint two and user login we are we are we have a schedule for a sprint one which is wrong right so this shows us that there is some issue there is some dependencies which we need to take care either we have to kind of like shift our dates kind of like schedule it and make it correct so this is kind of uh, you know very handy feature and uh, this is very basic example which i have covered i will try to cover some other examples as well but i mean this is what i wanted to cover in today's video that how can, how we can create dependencies between work items using the links create the predecessor and the successor create a basic delivery plan and kind of like show that dependencies if the dependencies is normal it will not highlight it as a red arrow if there is some issues in that dependencies that as a kind of an rde or as a management we need to take a decision it will highlight as in the red so that was kind of a brief i hope you guys liked this video and if you are new to this channel please share and subscribe and that will definitely motivate me if i know that you know my channel is growing and there are people who are liking our liking my videos so thank you thanks for all your time